Hello again, a new day, a new project, and here we have the mighty Akasom Helium Minor Amplifier. Akasom Amplifier has been kindly sent it by uh, Gabriel. Thank you so much, Gabriel, for this opportunity. I'll keep it a few days. Uh, to have some proper tests, you know, amplification and uh, takes and so on. But uh, unfortunately, as you see, the network is down. No uh, beacons, no witnessing. And since uh, 11th of uh, May, nothing works like before. And today it's 13th and Friday. 13th Friday, and that's a really nice combination. Hopefully they will start doing something about this or uh, we should sell our helium hot spots, you know, before the price is going like 50 euros or something. Anyway, okay, Akasom and this uh, particular model, it's an ACA ACA PA0801S1. By the numbers, this is a 10 dBLX and 0 dBTX variant. We'll uh, open it up soon and we'll see exactly what model is. So far, I can see there is a way to change in between uh, the amplification rates. So we have one S1, BS1, PA1S1, okay. Um, this is 0 TX and 10 uh, RX, you can see there. The next model it's PA0801S. Akasom let us know exactly what to do and what kind of modification we can make to have different variants of amplifier. But so far we just let it like that and the first step is to check it with my Nano VNA and I have a minus 21.8 dB attenuator and first thing we have to do is to check the cables we are pretty good there, minus 21.78, let's write down these numbers, minus 21.78, okay, let's connect the amplifier, obviously, uh, this goes to antenna, right here, it's an, air, it's an SMA female connector, and the other one, it's an uh, RP SMA female. Okay, we need an adapter here because I want to use this cable that came with the amplifier. Well, uh, pay attention with this cable because it's not flexible at all. All right. So everything is set. All we have to do now is to have the power supply and to see the results. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think I did it wrong. Now it's on TX. Okay, so we have to, to go the other way. Minor, you see the output to minor goes to Nano VNA channel 1. Okay and power on beautiful signal here and you can see the bell shape it's marvelous so we have a perfect filtered amplifier for 868 megahertz and uh, so far let me find the the best amplification point and it's right here i think it's 18 Point minus 18.07 dB at 867.1 perfect so this is the best okay let's do the mathematics here and see what is the amplifier gain and we have 21.58 minus 18.07 and we have only 3.51 dB amplification well 
kind of strange yeah it's looking normal with the red led on this is on uh, okay let's say on air x now but i'm really surprised about the numbers so uh 18 point another reading 18.55 hmm. this is very strange i was expecting 10 db that's funny okay let me take out the attenuator let's see what's happening the cables are okay for sure and look there 2.18 without the attenuator no bias t so no modification for rx 17 te6 we have to remove c9v okay where is c9v this one here no filters here hdf 68.6 i heard they are not very good not so great we have a wide band somehow i think we are right here see that's the ic uh, input or something and it's up there yeah so this is i see i'm talking about then we have the filter and c filter and here it should be no that's the filter that's before the filter so for uh, for eric 17 this should be removed before the, this is the filter here oh uh, it's this one here this capacitor here this should be removed let's go farther then rda and rd8 9 and 8 okay they are down here are these guys here in this area that should be interesting so for uh, 17 we have to uh, have a shunt here on rd9 that one removed okay for rx17 and tx0 we have to remove this and rd9 and rda rd9 and we have a zero here well let's see so we have this capacitor and we have these resistors here okay rx and tx track rx and tx okay this is rx and up there it's the tx now yeah it's very clear but of course you need to have the skills to do all this uh, modifications so far i can see this is 10 db version with that capacitor in place and all the other resistors here that's ap2960 what else aca0818 0810 anything else these are transistors uh r3s that's a transistor too probably and this is the relay the input what circuit is that one maybe it's the same with ab0743 okay let's see about this relay we have a chip with one two three four and what about the ab it's only three legs there maybe it's i thought maybe they are similar but no yeah absolutely different okay so that's it for now nothing else to do and uh, i'll put this back i'm not sure how many db uh, this amplifier needs to commute on uh, on tx but we'll give a try let me have my attenuator back and power on again okay well i put the top <laughs> the other way so uh the time i was a little bit scared what the hell is burnt i didn't touch anything yeah so this one goes to the antenna once again or better said to channel zero let's have a tx test i'm sending a cv frequency on 868 megahertz now we should see a green led here but nothing happens okay nothing on both sides oh yeah but i don't think that's an amplification here i don't see any green 
there should be a green LED for TX I'm not sure so maybe this one it's TX0 so uh, probably it's you know it's just uh, passing the signal probably okay I'm kind of disappointed about the the amplification numbers maybe I'll try to to modify for 17 to see how it behaves okay that's it for today the first uh, checking steps uh, uh, I don't know tests with uh, Akasom uh, PA0801S1 so far the amplification is kind of uh, low it's only 3.51 dB I was expecting 10 but uh, I also have to check and recheck some things the parts inside and so on please like please subscribe and the most important thing don't forget to have fun bye bye <laughs>